Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. It's early in the morning. It's 3 a.m. here in Portugal, and it's time to do another road trip. Uh, I've got a couple thousand mile journey ahead of me today, maybe about 3,500 kilometers, heading to Lisbon first, and then heading elsewhere. Can anybody guess where I'm going? <laughs> well, let's get on with the day. Okay, where are we going? Let's fire up the beast. Let's turn the fan off. Okay, let's program in the destination. 3.23 a.m. Looks like I'm still on time. Okay, let's type it in. Faro Airport, calculating. Fifteen kilometers. Start. Fastest route, twenty-three kilometers. Okay, so it's a little longer by road than as the crow flies. Let's start. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's see if my gate clicker works. goes I didn't even have to click it I guess it's automatically programmed so I'm out of the compound out of the gated community now I gotta just drop off my clicker here guess I better pull over to the side in case somebody comes Now, for those of you wondering where I was actually staying, Pinhal da Marina, here in Villamora. Well, I gotta drop off my clicker. This is proof that I threw it in there on the video. Okay. Yeah, good, the gate's closing. Okay, time to pay attention to traffic and get to the airport. Well, I don't want them to say that I didn't drop off the keys because they're not even open yet. So there goes the keys and there's the proof. The car was a good car. Anyway, I'm at the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain speaking. Uh, due to the smell that we felt in the cockpit, and I think uh, all the uh, plane has felt it too, we have to disembark and uh, cancel this flight. Uh, please follow all cabin crew instructions Palmer. and the uh, ground staff. Looks field. like I'm stuck in Lisbon. Uh, we apologize for this situation. We're at Lisbon Airport, and um, we had smoke or exhaust fumes reported in the cabin bef just before takeoff here so we've gone back to the gate and they are checking the plane as a precaution they haven't decided whether they're going to unload the plane and cancel the flight but as a precaution probably a good idea so so the fire department is on board and technical staff while they inspect the plane and if you notice the hold door is open while they're obviously looking for fire inside the plane 
but to me, I could smell it, and it's it smelled like um, exhaust, carbon monoxide. Kind of what it smelled like to me. So now I'm up here in the front of the plane at least, so I can see what's going on. Okay, folks. Here's what has happened and is what is happening. I was on flight 780 on uh, TAP, Portugal Airlines. And we were 15 minutes late leaving the gate because of uh, too much traffic in Europe, so they were holding us on the tarmac. Then we get clearance to taxi, and we're taxiing um, to take off, and we're number two to take off. And there's horrible exhaust smell, fumes, possibly fire, who knows. And I'm smelling it and I'm thinking, you know, I've smelled this before, but this is really strong, like really, really strong, to the point where I'm thinking, oh boy, carbon monoxide poisoning or something. Definitely from combustion of something. So suddenly, four fire trucks are dispatched, police, ambulance, they surround flight 780 and I'm like whoa this is not a good sign so they are ready in case the plane erupts in flames so I'm kind of ready for an emergency evacuation and then the pilot makes an announcement that we're going back to the gate so I guess they didn't discover any fire or else they would have obviously evacuated immediately right uh, right there so we went back to the gate went to gate 8 and we all waited in line of course I'm flying at the front I'm business class so I'm in the, the economy line finally they decide to open the line for us uh, business class people and there's only eight of us on uh, flying business class so they do that I get a voucher for six euros to have something to eat. <laughs> What's that gonna get me a croissant? Six euros. <laughs> but the good news is apparently there's gonna be a flight um, or a new plane put into service and we're gonna leave around 11 a.m. Ironically from the same gate, gate 12. I don't know if that was cursed. So obviously this video is not gonna be uploaded today, but for you aviation freaks, I guess <laughs> you'll probably know more about it by the time I upload the video. But you know, my thoughts are it's better to be safe than sorry, because you know, I've, all, I've watched those Mayday programs. Ironically, they're produced in Canada. <laughs> and fire on board an aircraft, that's deadly shit, man. So, you know, they did the right thing. And here I am, back in Lisbon. <laughs> and luckily, I'm still a cigarette smoker. They actually have indoor smoking past security here between gate 19 and 21. <laughs> so I'm heading there to have a smoke. Screw the $6 <laughs> voucher. I was in the, uh, the business class lounge earlier today, but I might pour myself a drink. So that's the update, and of course, you guys don't know where I'm going. Well, I guess you could kind of look up the date and the flight number and figure out where I'm going, because I did say what the actual <laughs> flight number was. So yeah, there we go. Somebody's yes, gonna English. get booted. Huh? English, Portuguese? Yeah, English, Portuguese. English, Portuguese? English, English. Okay. Yeah, our second flight after a fire, and now there's a jerk here in first class. And he's getting the boot by the Portuguese police. It's quite the trip. Hilarious. That's what happened. 
happens when you give the flight crew a hassle. Hey YouTubers, subscribe to Line Screw One. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board.